Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22064.1537. As always, in these videos, we talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in these new builds, this time for the beta channel. And of course, if you don't know how the beta channel system works with two different builds that are released into this channel, make sure to check out the article below in the video's description for more information, also more explanations about how that works. If you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all we have the new access keys in the file explorer on the beta channel which are slowly rolling out so i'm just going to show a screenshot of how this looks basically these are some access key shortcuts into the context menu this access key allows a keyboard user to quickly execute a command in the context menu i think this is pretty useful also now you're able to create live kernel memory dumps in the task manager so if we're going into the task manager and then into the details tab and search for the system process if you right click on it you're going to be able to create a live kernel memory dump file with full live kernel memory dump kernel stacks and also change memory dump settings along with some new settings or options that you have into the task manager settings. If you want to learn more info about this feature, you can check out the article below. Microsoft is also implementing content adaptive brightness control, which is a feature that will run on devices such as laptops and two-in-ones that are plugged into a charger. And you have three different options in this dropdown, off always or on battery only. And basically you can save power by optimizing screen contrast and brightness for the content shown. And this will allow you to save the battery life by using these options, you can leave it on off always or on battery only I think this is a useful new option in the settings app introduced by Microsoft also Microsoft is starting to redirect some of the troubleshooters found under settings system and troubleshoot and in other areas of the OS to the new get help troubleshooting platform because the MSDT or the old troubleshooting platform is deprecating also we are getting the new Bing search box on the taskbar on the better channel as well I don't have it enabled here but I think you're safe to use the same ID that I've used in the previous video where I showed you how to enable this manually and basically once you have access to the new Bing search box on the taskbar will include a button that opens the Bing chat experience in Edge and I think this is pretty interesting this is also slowly rolling out so you may not see it right away if you don't enable it manually now let's talk about some fixes in this build some general fixes they improve the experience on logon after booting up by reducing the performance impact of startup apps regarding the taskbar and system tray Microsoft fixed the issue in the previous build where the option to show seconds in the taskbar was not working so that is finally working and uh, if I'm going to taskbar settings and um, taskbar behaviors, I have this enabled, show seconds and system tree clock uses more power. And as you can see, this feature finally works. They also fix an issue causing the show hidden icons flyout to open behind things such as OneNote, flyout and live captions. Regarding settings, they improved the performance of search within settings. Regarding voice access, they fixed an issue that was causing voice access to take some time to turn on after using the wake up command. And we also have another fix to a problem that was causing an unexpected error message to appear when opening the group policy editor in the previous flight. And some other general fixes applied to this build. The search box on the taskbar will be lighter when you set windows to a custom color mode. This will occur when you set the windows mode to dark and the app mode to light and settings, personalization and colors. And the list of fixes can continue, but I'm not gonna go and talk about every fix because I always try to select the most interesting ones. And if you want to see the full list of fixes and also the known issues in this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was Emmanuel from tech page until next time have a nice day